Tuck. Just kidding. I just wanted to start this video off a little fun. So today I'm going to show you what a dinner looks like in my house. Now, I haven't been feeling very well. My anxiety has been really up like the roof. I just checked my um, ketone level. It's at point seven. Um, I ate a salad with a whole bunch of fat and avocado today. And I'm actually not feeling hungry at all, but because of the way my body feels, I decided I should have some really good fat and traditional food. So I pulled out whatever I had in here just to kind of show you guys. Um, and how you prep to have Inupiaq food or Inuit food is any fucking piece of cardboard that you can find, right? The thick piece because seal oil and um, Inupiaq food, especially sea mammals, I guess you would say, do not smell great if they get on stuff. Like, I would really get, um, you know, my, my mom would balak me, really scold me if I ever, like, touched a Nupiak food or a Nikipiak and tried to touch other things. She'd really just smack my hand and tell me to go clean. Yeah, with Dawn dish soap, nothing else. Yeah. Nikipiak is translated into real food, so it's the only English term to um, say what Anubiak food is for you guys. All right, I am going to set up and pause the video so we can get a better angle. So, start out with your cardboard box and a messy counter. I don't feel like scrubbing that. You're just gonna rip the cardboard box, right, right? And like I said, make it real thick or you're gonna have nasty, aka, smelly, Mishawk. Okay, so I got the cardboard. I have a real cheap ulu I got from um, Fred Myers for like 14 bucks because I ain't got no real ulu yet. So this one works, eh, it's all right. But I found this butcher, butcher block um, thing. And I used it the other day because I couldn't find my ulu and I was like, badass, I'm gonna start using this, man. Okay, first food I'm going to pull out for you guys is my favorite bookshop and kinik duck. Okay. Well, actually, this has gone bad right here. It's got real dark pink color, but the black meat's still good. Oh, my favorite. So this is seal meat that's been sitting in seal oil. And it's really, really my favorite. So it's frozen and raw, and that's how I like it. <laughs> it's called kok, kok. Say it with me, kok. <laughs> You're gonna cut it up into little pieces and just sprinkle at it with some salt, and it's really good. So that's the first thing. I'm not gonna do that right now because I'm gonna show you guys some other stuff, okay? <clears throat> this is called Arvik. This is whale meat. And this is also one of my favorites. Better not stare at the camera and end up cutting myself. Yuppany. <laughs> wow, I'm really feeling goofy right now. I don't usually, I don't talk like this every day, you guys, like, honestly. But sometimes when I'm feeling real goofy and I'm tired because I had to work a long time today. I've been up since 5 a.m. So I was really tired my sink is just totally full of dishes, so I was like, oh, I better shoot video, make pot. Yum. Don't have to waste no dishes. My kids will like it. Huzzah. Well, we're going to let that, oh, oh, wow, this is just one big piece, huh? Holy, good for dinner. You can fry this up, too, because this is raw frozen as well right now but i really don't i'm i prefer it pork style um just salt uh my favorite though i just got this for christmas and i forever forever am i grateful wherever the heck my spicy salt is well while i look for that <sighs> i'll show you guys in Anuk's freezer, you just never really know what you got in there. You know, I gotta go through it. This says whale blubber oil. Usually it doesn't say though. How awesome. Ooh, what's in here? More black meat? Azza. 
So this is going to be some of the um, fat and you really, I don't usually eat this to be totally honest. Mm, smells good though. The whale blubber smells really good. And then we've got gold. Y'all talk about MCT oil, ain't got nothing on seal oil. I can't do no seal call. I would though. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I sound like a sad, sad dying seal when I do it. Ada, natchik. So this is um, misrak, what we call. I'm pretty sure this is seal oil. So I just kind of take a guess. Lots of times, you know, I try to go through my freezer so I remember and I don't let nothing go bad. This is all precious food. Feeds my soul. It's something that I have to have if I don't. Oh, yeah, that seal oil. Woo! Woo! <laughs> that smells real strong. It's good, though. So, we're going to cut up a little bit of this right here. So, you just do it small slices, just like that. I'll show you with the ulu, because this is traditionally what we use, but as you see, it's just a tourist-ass tanuk ulu. Yeah, that means American white person. So, anyways, <laughs> we're gonna you usually do this, but look how just not sharp. And really, I could sharpen my ulu, but I just don't like this ulu. I'm, I'm dead set against having it now. really want my own good one. All right, so after you cut it up in a little slices like this, you're gonna get your salt. Use the good salt though, right? No more table salt for us, because salt is good for you, but not if it's deprived of all nutrients. <sighs> this is my jam. This lady makes the best dang stuff ever, ever. <laughs> so we're gonna put this over. So yummy. I feel like real people that never see this want to see my face eating it. I'm gonna hold it real funny. Anyone understand why? It's just real aha if you just touch anything. Mm, my soul food. This is my jam. Now I gotta pull out the seal oil. And that's really where it's gonna get like so, so good. But really you gotta be like careful not to touch nothing. Have my phone smell like fucking seal oil forever. Okay, let me get this. Let me get a little jar. So, you're just gonna put a little seal oil right in there. Dip that sucker. <laughs> Something that an elder said to me once. That we don't have to say grace. I'm using quotations, but it just looks like I want to get ya. <laughs> um, we don't got to say grace every time, people. Because we're grateful when we wake up. That's our value is to be grateful. To wake up and just have gratitude for being alive. So... I always find that comforting because I really would always just stuff my mouth while people were saying grace and now I I got elder approval so it's okay. <laughs> I don't know when this real thick accent's gonna leave. I feel like it's staying, like it's just it's flowing, you guys. Really, I feel like my coworkers are gonna see this and be like, what the hell? <laughs> Golly, that girl. Okay. Just doing it for her views. Gosh, not even. She's not even from the village. Ah, da. <laughs> I jokes. Okay, so <laughs> this is the black meat seal oil. This is this is how I I guess I talk, right? It's all different when you're around your family. I'll put this in the seal oil. My kids don't don't eat seal oil as much. Hmm. Hmm. So depending on how the person made it, 
black meat can be real tough. It's kind of like jerky. Just like jerky, actually, really depending on who makes it. It can be a little soft and chewy. It can be real, almost dry. And this is drier. It's actually, that's how I like it. Much better when it's dry. Mmm. Seal oil in this stuff. That's why natives never age. We just look young forever. It's our magic. All right. Guys are probably getting bored of watching me just eat my delicious food. So I'm going to actually proceed to eat my food and end this video. But this is a dinner. This is an entire meal for me. Um, I'll put on some tea after this. So my tummy digests with some nice hot water. Um, nice hot tea but other than that when I'm real tired I'm not feeling well this is a cure for my mental physical spiritual health thanks for eating with me today thank you in my language is koinak thank you very much is koinak buck if you have any questions, leave them in the comment section below. Hit like, subscribe, and if you guys would like to see a full video of what I eat in a day, um, please comment that and I will try to do it. This video was a little challenging to put together. It's something I had to um, do in a few days. So thank you so much for your patience and I hope that I can get another video up soon. Bye!